What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new episode of Backpacking TV. I'm Eric Hansen and today I'm going to be breaking down five gear companies that you probably don't know about that are making some seriously rad stuff for backpacking. Let's break it down starting now. Okay guys, there's a lot of gearheads out there and people who just love diving into stuff uh, that they don't know about. Uh, gear, just talking about ounces, talking about you know new products. And that isn't always what I do here on the channel, but I recently went to the outdoor retailer convention and got a chance to meet up with a bunch of companies and a lot of them I didn't know about before. So I just came back from the outdoor retailer. I got hooked up with some gear from these brands and I really wanted to show you what were some of the things that I just thought was too cool to pass up on and I wanted to pass on this knowledge of what these new companies are doing to you. So first on my list, I'm gonna start over here and uh, this, you know, water bottle companies are not necessarily uh, new and are not necessarily going to be getting me too, too excited. However, this water bottle company is doing something really cool, which I did wanna let you know about. It's a company called Infuse. They make uh, not just water bottles, actually the primary thing that they make is uh, additives to water, but delivering it in a unique way. So Infuse makes uh, electrolyte elixirs that are really good tasting and provide those electrolytes that your body needs, especially when you're sweating, working hard, and uh, on those hot days, especially where I live in the desert, I am definitely uh, need to go through a lot of those salts and electrolytes. And so having a good way to deliver it uh, is really amazing because in the past what I've had to do is say take a package of crystal light or something like that some really sugary compound add it into my Nalgene bottle um, or God forbid my uh, actual bladder that I drink out of which if you know if you've done that before it permanently alters the taste of your Nalgene bottle it permanently alters the taste of your uh, water bladder and the other thing, the main reason to never do that is that you're introducing sugars into a, a system that are often warm and hot, and that is a recipe for developing bacteria and fungus and just nasty stuff that you do not want living in your uh, water bottle. What this does, the way that this is different is that the whole si system actually, this mouth guard looking thing, uh, is where you add in your uh, elixirs. So you just open this up, open that up, fill that baby up, add it into here, and now the water as it's coming up through here, it's being uh, basically forced through this little flavor chamber and then up into your drink. Now the other cool thing that you can do is you can change how the intensity, you can change the intensity of the beverage all the way from like super max, which I don't recommend because you don't really need that much, all the way down to zero if you just want regular water. The other thing is that you don't actually need to buy their water bottle. You can get these caps that fit on Nalgene bottles or something that you already have. This is for backpacking. This is a little bit on the bulkier side and heavier side. They do make a system that just clips on to the end of say a camelback or whatever bladder and it's the same type of delivery system but just is on the end of your bladder and uh, it's a really uh, lightweight easy way to go because I do understand that maybe some backpackers out there wouldn't want to carry this whole system. I was a little skeptical of this until I actually used it. I was uh, off in the high desert of Colorado and it was just hot out there and I busted this thing out and the first thing is that it obviously it needs to taste good and it does it tastes amazing so I've got here some pina colada I've used the peach that is my actual favorite there but so this whole system wouldn't work if it didn't taste good but it tastes amazing and so it's actually really wonderful to replenish those electrolytes as you're out on the trail or wherever you might be in a hot sweaty environment so thanks to infuse that is one item that i totally recommend they're super cool check them out uh, at infuse.com i think uh, check them out and in infuse i'll have the link there uh, below for uh, the actual website there moving on number two on my list of awesome gear companies that are making stuff that you may or may not know about, and it's Stay Out Longer, S-O-L. And uh, this is great if you don't want to be 
SOL when you're out backpacking. One of the items that I, that I like that is just kind of your standard compass, although it's a really nice freaking compass. Uh, it's got your mirror compass for sighting and lining up uh, everything that you would do if you guys know how to do uh, map and compass navigation. This is really awesome and it does have the ability to change your declination, so it is, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice compass. I don't want to spend too much time on it because it is just kind of your standard navigation item, but I was really impressed with it. They make all sorts of other stuff. This was the other item that I really wanted to talk about here. Now, you may just think that this is your standard uh, flashlight, but uh, no, my friends, it is not just a flashlight. Open this baby up and you've got your fire starter. If you can check that out, it looks like a plasma uh, array from like a science fiction starship. It is really rad and it will start fires quickly. So I always like to backpack with just a lighter on me. However, sometimes lighters fail if they get wet or something like that. Um, having a backup is great. And so I like uh, multi-use backups. It's great to have a light that's a backup. Uh, in case your headlamp fails, you still have uh, another light source there. And having a fire starter is a pretty brad combo and i am super into that this thing like blows my mind it's all like purple and crazy and whew, and it starts fires really quick so be careful because <laughs> it is it is potent thanks to stay out longer for these items because they are awesome stay out longer also makes uh, a lot of things that are great for camping hatchets, bear spray, uh, solar showers, uh, things like that that just kind of make camp experiences really rad. So I wanted to highlight their backpacking equipment and that's why I chose these items. Next up on my list is footwear. So the company Astral is relatively new to the backpacking world, but if you are a kayaker, a river boatman, or somebody out there who's living the, the watery life, the river life, you definitely would know about Astral because they have been making water shoes for a really long time, but now they are breaking into backpacking shoes. This is the, I believe it's the TR1 mesh, and it is a really lightweight shoe that uh, is just fantastic. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, and uh, so they're, they're a little bit dirty, but they've stayed relatively clean so far. They're super lightweight, and best of all, this uh, grip that they have, it's their own design, it's not Vibram, it's, it's uh, I think G-Grip, or I'm not 100% sure. I can have a little note that corrects me here. These soles are so, so grippy. I love them. I feel like I can go rock climbing with these shoes. I love this wide toe box that is so much more comfortable than your kind of typical, more narrow foot box that uh, really, especially after you've been backpacking for 10 or 15 miles, can really start forcing your toes to rub, can add in some extra pain points. And I love hiking with these wide uh, foot boxes. And if anybody out there is really uh, familiar with Ultra, they are, uh, I got a couple of pairs behind me and I have used those. And these have a very similar feel. So if you like Ultras, you're gonna like Astrals. The other thing that I really like about them is that the company is really committed to ethical manufacturing. So these shoes are vegan. So there's no animal products involved with these shoes. And uh, they just do a really good job of trying to make products that have as minimal impact as possible on the environment. So I really, really appreciate that about Astral. Now, if uh, low cuts are not your jam, well, I just happen to have, let me uh, step aside here. I had them, ha ha. So if you also want some boots, they do make your classic high top boots before. So I have not actually get, gotten these on the trail. I'm about to do a backpacking trip and I'm gonna give these a, a go, but these low cuts are super awesome. And I'm personally more prone to enjoy the low cut shoes than the high cuts than the high cut boots. But I just think they're so cool looking. I mean, look at those. You could, we could wear those out on the town on a date. Those are so cool. So I just really, really like what they're up to. And I had never heard of them before. I'm gonna put these down now. I had never heard of Astral before until recently and I am super into them. So if you haven't tried Astral or you haven't heard of them, 
make sure that you check them out. Moving on, I am always looking for great socks. Uh, that is something that is just uh, invaluable. So I recently came across a company called Grip6. Now they don't only make socks, but the socks were the things that I was probably the most excited about. I am uh, also wearing a pair of them right now as we speak here in my studio. They're just so, so comfortable. They are made from Rocky Mountain wool. So the wool is sourced here in the US, which I really like that stuff's not traveling all over the globe and uh, adding those increased costs that get passed on to you, as well as the environmental costs of just shipping stuff all over the world. Uh, and then they are manufactured in Utah. So the wool is in the US and the manufacturing and turning it into uh, clothing is in Utah. So I really, really like that. And they're super comfortable, they're super, uh, they're super warm. They have cool designs, I like how they look, but most importantly is that they're great for your feet when you're hiking, and uh, they're just super, super comfortable socks. So it's not the only thing that they make, they also make uh, belts, which I happen to be wearing right here. Um, they're, they're just a kind of a cool company that I have gotten to, gotten to know recently, and I am so in love with their socks. So I thought I'd let you know about Grip6 hiking socks. Last but not least, it's Truly my favorite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear some stuff out so that I can give this some proper room here. Give me one second. Okay, need some dedicated space for my favorite items here. I hope that you've stuck around because this is the best one in my personal opinion and the one that I'm most in love with. So if you are an ultralight hiker out there, you're gonna be interested in this. And even if you're not an ultralighter, like I am really, not the ultralight guy, but I can't help but be really excited about what Vargo is doing. Vargo is a rad company that uh, has been around for the last few years, but they're really small and most people don't know them outside of the hardcore ultralighters. Now, they've been really famous for their ultralight stoves, and uh, this is a about to be my first time actually using a real alcohol stove uh, for, for going on a backpacking trip. Yes, my friends, I'm finally going to ditch the, the whisper light, the jet boil, uh, the pocket rockets, and I'm gonna try an actual lightweight alcohol stove. This thing weighs in at three ounces, I believe. In fact, let me check on that. No, no, my friends. This thing is so lightweight, it weighs in at 1.3 ounces. That is crazy. It is so stinking light. So the thing with Vargo is that they make all titanium products. And because they're titanium, they are so stinking light. So a whole stove, one ounce. Now uh, you gotta add in some fuel, of course, but uh, just a couple ounces of uh, liquid fuel, such as alcohol, is gonna do the trick for, for some meals there. So I'm gonna be trying this guy out. And then my next favorite item is this uh, knife. Now I've had the chance to try out some other pocket knives and uh, backpacking knives lately. And this one is hands down my favorite. So uh, not only does it only weigh a freaking ounce, which is so stinking light, I can't believe it. It just has this really pleasant ergonomic design. I like how it uh, lays with your finger there. And the other thing that I truly, truly love is that it has just this uh, light curve in uh, on the blade. So it just really makes an amazing point. I love how this back curves down as opposed to curving up because this tip of this knife blade is so useful. I, I love it. And the fact that it weighs an ounce is mind blowing to me. Uh, I thought like a, a four ounce knife was like really lightweight. This is a quarter of that. And so this is unbelievable. It has a great lock, so it's really sturdy. The other lightweight knives that I've used have really flimsy locks that feel like that blade might pop and fold over your fingers at any time. So I really like that this has a great locking system on it. And it's so stinking small. Look at that. It's great. It's got two and a half inch actual blade, so it's not nothing. It's a, it's a real useful blade that you can use for uh, opening packages, chopping veggies, cutting cords and stuff like that around camp. Whatever you're gonna need, it's a great knife for that. Last but not least, this is my favorite item here. This is the bot from Avargo. So the bot is a, a pot system uh, that it actually locks here, so you can store 
food in this pot. This is gonna be, again, a great for all you ultralighters out there. So it actually has a seal, so you could store liquids in here, um, and it's going to hold them. You can undo that, flip that over. It's got a little lid that fits nicely, nests inside there. So now you can create, uh, for when you're actually cooking, you're gonna to wanna to flip this over. Side note, don't cook with this fully sealed. You'll make a bomb, essentially. Uh, so just flip that over to let the pressure escape. And then, uh, of course, you've got a nice handy handle right there. So ultralighters out there love using these as cups. You can use them as storage. Uh, the other cool thing is that if you are using this kind of fuel system and you wanna really save on fuel, one of the things that is cool to do is you can actually add your dehydrated food directly to here, add in the water, and just save an hour before you're gonna actually plan on eating. Just let that cold soak for a little bit. Just let that water start to rehydrate in your food. Then you can heat it up, cook it up, and you've got yourself a nice hot meal where you've barely used any fuel at all. And then of course, if you do have any leftovers or anything, you can just seal that up and uh, you can throw this in your backpack and you're not gonna have leaky porridge uh, in your backpack. So I, I really love that. Vargo makes a lot of other really cool products. They've even used their internal frame backpacks that are steel framed. They make just cool stuff. You gotta check them out. Uh, I really am a fan and especially if anybody wants to shave some weight, Vargo is the way to go. All right, everybody, that's my video here. I hope you enjoyed it. These are five companies that you probably haven't heard of uh, that are making awesome gear for backpackers. Hit me up in those comments below. I wanna be hearing about your favorite small companies and uh, give them some love. Uh, again, nothing here has been paid for. This is all just stuff I am excited about and wanted to share with you. So this uh, is a, my genuine review video of cool gear. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, make sure you give it those thumbs up and you're subscribed here on the channel. I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.